Hey, hello everybody, it's your boy Durf, and welcome to another episode of Scrap Miknik. Today I'm going to show you this contraption that I built. It's a wheel that will only spin counterclockwise, no matter which way you actually spin the engine. Uh, this video was inspired by a video that I saw on YouTube, where this guy actually like did a 3D print of this contraption. And he was inspired by an old blueprint. It came from the time when uh, people used to design all sorts of mechanical contraptions. Whether or not they were useful, they just did it anyway, just in case it might be useful in the future. Although this design was never useful. It doesn't serve any purpose in Scrap Mechanic, and it doesn't serve any purpose in the real world. But I thought it was pretty neat, and I took it upon myself to make it as a challenge in Scrap Mechanic. So you press W on the seat, and the engine will spin forward, and this wheel will turn counterclockwise. If you press S, the engine will go backwards, but this wheel will still turn counterclockwise. No matter which way you power this engine, this wheel's always going to spin counterclockwise. So let's uh, let's take a look and see how this thing works. So in the back here we have these three gears, three identical gears. I just have to use a controller to position some of these pegs uh, in the proper location. You can see it's kind of like in the corner of a block, like half block in, half block out. So that was just to create like a, a nice circle of pegs. And we have three interlocking gears like this. And this is the gear that will turn... From this side, it's ca it's clockwise. But uh, from the other side, it's always going to spin counterclockwise. So we have three identical gears. None of the gears are actually powered. They're all just free-spinning gears. Uh, but this shaft that you see in the middle, this actually goes through uh, both gears. And it spins from the outside. That's the thing that we're actually powering. So this shaft is connected to both sides on the outside, and that's the thing that spins. So on each side of the blue shaft, I have a red and green ratchet, and these are just powered by a simple gas engine to make sure that they're pushing against the gear. So it does make for a very noisy contraption, but let me show you how it works. Okay, so if you press W, you're actually going to be spinning the entire shaft with the red and green ratchet. Um, I guess from this angle it would be clockwise. And you can see the red ratchet is going to catch onto the gear right there. And that's what's going to turn all three gears so that the center gear is actually spinning clockwise from this angle, but it's, uh, it's counterclockwise from this side. And as you can see, the green ratchet doesn't catch on that gear and just keeps on smacking that smacking that gear, but it allows rotation. Now if we stop spinning, uh, if we stop pressing W and we start pressing S, then the green ratchet is going to catch onto the gear, and the red one is going to allow rotation instead. And as you can see, the center gear is all spinning the exact same direction. No matter which way we power the shaft, the gears are always going to spin in the same direction. And that's just because of the alternating directions of the ratchet. So I thought that was pretty neat. It was kind of a fun challenge to do, but it's entirely useless. Let me show you exactly how useless it is, because I have another version of this. Like, if you wanted to accomplish this in Scrap Mechanic, it's a lot easier than this. There wasn't actually a point to building all of these gears and ratchets and stuff. Like, there, it doesn't, it doesn't actually need to be that complicated. So let me show you what I mean. All right, so over here I have the exact same thing. Um, this this uh, little concrete arm over here is going to spin clockwise, and only clockwise, no matter which way I actually power um, the seat, the engine. So as you can see, this is more of a digital way of handling the same problem. So if you press W, it'll activate the sensor, which activates the logic gate, and activates the engine. And because the logic gate's the only part that's activating the engine, it will only ever turn one direction. So even if I press S, the second sensor will activate the logic gate and spin the motor in the same direction. So as you can see, it was like entirely useless to have all that, all those gears, all those bearings. The point of me building this was just to challenge myself to see if I could build that mechanical solution. But if you really wanted to have a bearing or rotation that could only rotate one way, there's definitely much easier solutions than that. And this gets even easier when you use mods. So this is just a math block from the mod pack. Uh, it's, it's set to absolute value right now. 
So whatever the seat outputs, which if you press WRS, it will output one or negative one. Uh, it just takes the absolute value of that, which will output one or one. And we just send that to the motor to spin the peg. So W, S, and there is the smallest solution to this problem. The most efficient way to get a single direction rotation in Scrap Mechanic. So yeah, this thing is like entirely useless, but I thought it was pretty neat. I had fun trying to figure out the mechanical solution to this. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll take a look at some other mechanical ideas on random videos on YouTube. See if I can recreate them, because this was actually a lot of fun. So that's going to be it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. And if you guys have any suggestions on any other mechanical contraptions that I could try to recreate in Scrap Mechanic, leave those suggestions down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!